So when you see people display rainbow in this month, you want to make a post and say, this is the real meaning of the rainbow. I have placed my rainbow in the cloud. It is the sign of my covenant with you and all the hurt. When I send clouds over the head, the rainbow will appear in the clouds. And I will remember my covenant with you and with all the living creatures. Never again will the floodwaters destroy life. When I see the rainbows in the cloud, I remember the eternal covenant between God and every living creature. Then God said to Noah, yes, this rainbow is the sign of covenant. I am confirming with all the creatures of earth. God made a promise with Noah now using the rainbow. Don't stop there. Isaiah, what do you have to say about this covenant? Isaiah now, chapter 54. Let's turn to Isaiah 54. <laughs> I hope today you still see rainbow on the sky, right? Okay. For you now, what should that mean to you when you see rainbow? So let Isaiah answer the question. Verse 9. Just as I swore in the time of Noah, you see where we just read, right? That I would never again let the flood cross the heart. You see, that was the meaning of rainbow, right? Now, let's keep reading. So now, how many of you want to live in the now time of God? Now, 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 okay. Now I swear that I will never again be angry and punish you. Okay, so question now. When you see a rainbow, what do you think? That God will never be angry with me, not punish me. Okay, let's keep reading. Verse 10. For the mountains may move and the hills disappear, but even my faithful love for you will remain. My covenant of blessing will never be broken. Another question say, my covenant of peace. So when you see a rainbow, you think peace. Why? Because God made you a covenant. Romans 5 will now say, therefore, being justified by faith, we now have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, when we read Revelation chapter 4, the throne of God was described. And John will use words like a rainbow. We realize the rainbow word was mentioned when God made a covenant. As I said, that covenant, the same way God promised Noah, he's promising you and I. He will never be angry with you, nor punish you. Question, do believers feel as if God is punishing them? Yes. What does that mean? That means they are ignorant of the promise, covenant of God, symbolized by rainbow. Because even on the throne of God, we saw something that looked like a rainbow, reminding us, God will never be angry with you, nor punish you. Do believers at times feel as if God is angry with them? Yes, sadly. So what are they ignorant of? The gospel, right? What is the gospel? Remind them that God has made a covenant, a promise with a rainbow. The same way he promised Noah, he will never use the flood to wipe away the earth. The same way he said, I will never. He said, I swear, I will never be angry with you. Does God have to swear? No. But just to let you know, he's not the one angry with you. He's to say, I swear. So when we are now reading Revelation, we will see a rainbow. We say, mm, that is the promise of God about him saying he will never be angry. So when you think about the throne of God, it's not the place of anger. It's a place of love. It's a place of peace. God is not angry with you. God is not mad at you. God loves you. Rainbow speaks about God's covenant. And to us, that means God will never be angry with you. Not punish you.